Oh my goodness. Okay. So we're back to go live, guys. Yeah. So what's up, guys? Yeah, remember I posted on my page that I'll be coming on live. And of course, uh, we're going to be discussing something very, very important. And uh, it has to uh, do with, you know, a real estate business. And of course, we'll be on with Dr. Stephen Akintayo in no time, uh, who is one of Africa's most uh, influential financial coach and uh, one of uh, the coaches in the business. I'm going to quickly find out if he's already online so that we'll just go straight to the conversation. Uh, yes, uh, let me see. I need to add him up. Okay, let me... I know you guys, wow, quite a number here already. Let's see, let's see, let's see how we can bring him on board. Invite to join. Uh, quite a number of people. Mm -hmm. Oh, I even see if him has cinemas here. You people, what else do you want now? This one is not in my business. What are you doing here? Toulouse, I see you all the way from America. Okay, now I'm just trying to see if Dr. Akintayo is already online with us. I haven't seen him. So we're just going to quickly do this. Do this. Do this. Okay, let me search. Uh, Dr. Yeah. Going to be joining us. Remember, guys, um, we're here and we'll be uh, discussing everything that you need to know about uh, building uh, wealth, having that uh, uh, financial understanding of what it means to be part of the real estate business. And uh, if I have to narrow it down, we'll be. I think I'm still trying to get him to join us so that we can, I just invited him and I'm very sure he'll be joining us shortly. Um, by the way, he operates uh, the GTEx Homes, uh, which is a real estate company and uh, they're highly innovative and they have uh, a workforce of young people. But it would be nice to hear him speak about all of this. So. I am waiting to have him come online. Uh, let me see how I can add him again. Let me invite him again. Mm -hmm. Sorry, guys, you know these technical things so once in a while. Mm. Okay. Still trying to get the doc to come online. Daddy Shoki, I see you. Edge of Happy New Year. Daddy Shoki, I see you. Uh, Okay, I've invited him again, so let's see how uh, that is going to go come through this time. Hey, oh, hey. how are you doing? Sorry, <laughs> good evening to you. Yeah. Good evening. 
on the line, I was wondering, I thought something went wrong. Uh, I, we had a yeah. lot of people on the line. Uh, very good evening to you. Happy New Year. I'm fine. Happy New Year. How's your family? How's your daughter? We're doing well. We bless God. It's so good to have you uh, join us uh, live. And of course, yeah. uh, I, I think uh, because people are waiting, uh, some people have already been sending me DMs. If I go through some of the messages I have here, it will show that a lot of people really, really want to learn. I'm going through some of the messages. By the way, um, we are with the CEO and MD of Dictex Homes. Are a real estate company that with uh, that high innovative uh, power force or workforce of young people, and uh, it's so good to to have you here. Can can you please uh, uh, let us know more about your own your own experience in the business and what we really need to share with our people today. Okay, uh, thank you so much for having me. Uh, congratulations, I heard you are now Dr. Richard. Uh, I heard you, Marco. So, <laughs> congratulations on that. Um, so, my name is Stephen Akintayo. We, we, we started our company 14 years ago with a digital marketing firm. Uh, seven years ago, we went into real estate. And, Today we have offices in the UK, US, Dubai, and the different cities in Nigeria. And today we want to look at how do you build wealth, uh, particularly when you look at rental income. Uh, from For those of you in the UK, those of you in the US, those of you in Dubai, uh, those of you in Nigeria, rental income is one of the biggest uh, way to make, uh, to become wealthy. I mean, when you look at a lot of the richest people in the world, what has helped them to be rich is called cash flow, uh, income generating real estate. And, and that's what you get when you are into, if you invest into rental income real estate. And you can do it in different cities of the world. So we hope we'll have a fantastic conversation today and it's going to be great. Okay, fine. Uh, talking about, I, I just wanted to get straight up into it. I mean, uh, what is that first thing to to look at for when uh, when when buying a house? Mm. Because we really want to really want to go straight and in, into this. Yeah, uh, yeah. This I mean, fantastic. So usually, particularly those of us from this part of the world, when we want to do real estate, we're thinking of a home. I want to have a beautiful house in Lekki like that of Ay. Uh, you know, <laughs> our house. <laughs> Or have a gigantic building. So we never think of investment when we're, when we're thinking of the house. And actually, the first thing you should think of is investment. Because, for example, taste change when it comes to real estate for one reason or the other. Uh, I remember when I moved to Lagos some years ago, my office was in Ikeja, 2012, uh, because that's where that was a, an asset. Right, my personal house I had to rent it in Songwater because to rent a house in Ikeja was going to cost me a million. In Songo, it was 200,000 for three bedroom. Right, but today the taste has changed because our office now is in Banana Island. Right, I no longer want to live in Songwater. But here's the mistake because I had thought Songwater was my dream, I probably would build eight bedroom. Uh, mansion in Songwater. Now that I've left Songwater, I cannot, I mean, people who want to rent houses in Songwater don't want to live in eight bedroom. But if I mm -hmm. thought of investment, right, I probably have do, done four units of two bedroom, right? I will still get good cash flow coming in and I'll have moved on to the new place I, you know, that I prefer to live in. Uh, and, and so the first thing when you want to buy properties, think investment, right? Not necessarily uh, where you're going to live. For example, some of us, you know, don't like island, though now I'm forced to, to be on the island, right? We, we like mainland. We feel water will carry all the islanders away, right? <laughs> but if, 
if you are thought of investment, you realize that any building close to water always appreciate when it comes to rental income, when it comes to capital appreciation. So oh, even really? though you have mainland, you will live in your mainland, but you will invest in properties on the what? On the island. Rent it out. And you even make uh, more money uh, for whatever and wherever you want to live. So think investment when it comes to buying a house. Wow, uh, and I, and I understand uh, you've you've been you've been in this business for quite some time now, and then yeah. your business yeah. goes across uh, the the UK, uh, USA, Dubai, and what have you? Can you let us know how can someone uh, in the UK, US, Dubai, or in Nigeria, yeah, use a loan to build real estate wealth? Uh, fantastic. I mean, very good, very good question. One of the major um, mistakes those in diaspora do, uh, I mean, this may not easily work for those of us in Nigeria because the mortgage system is not that perfect. But in the UK, in the US, in Dubai, the mortgage system is a lot better. And it's actually one of the best ways to build wealth. But again, the same mistake. So when somebody is in the UK, for example, what you are thinking is, my own residential house. Meanwhile, what you are supposed to do is get your first property. If possible, get a single family home, right, that has three floors. If I have a student of mine that did this in New Jersey, so he got this particular mortgage, $500,000, was a three-story building, single family home. He decided to renovate it. He lives on the ground floor. Second floor, he rented it out for $2,000. Third floor, $2,000. The mortgage on the entire building, tax, everything is $4,000. So what is happening? He's living, he's living free house. The tenant is paying the mortgage. Now, as I speak to you, the equity on that same property is in excess of $100,000. And you can still use a, 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 um, 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 equity line of credit, right? To go and what? Get the second house. So that 100,000, wow. he, can, he can get it, wow. right? And use it as the deposit for second house, right? In a matter of, of five years, you can literally have 10 houses in the UK. In no distant time from now, my brother, you have 20 houses in your name, tenants with one that paid for the entire bill till it's finished, and you are in wealth. And we've had several people do this. But unfortunately, again, the knowledge isn't there. A lot of us don't invest in, in you know, when we get to... our priority and we're not thinking how do we really build wealth right and unfortunately i always say this that a lot of the wealthy people in the world don't even write books right so uh, i mean in africa by the way i mean uh, the richest man Gates has a book Warren buffett has a book but if you check the richest black man doesn't have a book richest black woman no book so we, we the reason for our poverty is 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 multi-layered those who are even doing well are not teaching. These are secret signs. These are how I got here. And so we're not able to replicate their success story. So, I mean, if I live in America, US, UK, uh, um, the best way to make money in real estate is to use debt. In Nigeria, a different story. <laughs> so which is actually better, uh, to build a house or to get it off plan? Which, which is better, off plan sales? So off-plan sales will be the best I would recommend because when you are doing off-plan, you are getting, you have the opportunity for two sources of income, capital appreciation, even in developed economy, and rental income, which is the one what we're discussing here. So what is off-plan? Off-plan is if I am buying a house, do I buy the house that they have already finished building and I'm just paying? Now, if I buy that, I will have to pay the current price as of today. Now, or do I buy the one that they are building 
right? And I'm paying gradually. So I'll give you, for example, some scenarios. We have one of our properties, for example, here in Lagos. As at April 2021, it's 28 million for two bedroom, right? Now, just getting to June, cement price moved from 2,800 to 4,000, right now it's 5,000. That's almost double. Iron rod moved from 300 to 500. So, cut the long story short, the current price of that same two bedroom is 47 million. Meanwhile, if I tie that building down, April last year, I have two years to pay, and I will have been steep, I will not have increased my, my fee even when the prices went up. The same thing we had with Dubai. We have some of our investors in Dubai. I remember telling many of them, you don't have all the money. We have some development here. You have seven years to pay. Start last year, and some started. Some of those properties had grown by 3,000, 300,000 dirhams. In other words, mm -hmm. what was going for 800,000 dirhams is now 1.1 million dirhams. As for 2022 was this major reason for that of Dubai. So you see, and meanwhile, in Dubai, for example, you just pay in three years and you have four years to complete payment and you get your key in three years. You get your key and you start earning rental income. So what off plan does, you gain capital appreciation because by the time they are completing the building, the value has gone up than what you paid. Secondly, in some places, in some countries, even before you finish payment, you get keys, you start renting it out. You can even use the money tenants are paying you to complete the building. So uh, obviously, I'll go for off plan sales any day, any time. But so, with a credible company. Okay, uh, talking about uh, a credible company, uh, mm. I would like you to, to talk about the credibility of your own company because Nigerians generally, uh, when it comes to investment, they just don't want to wake up and put their money somewhere. Talking about credibility, what, what, what is that thing that we have around your experience in the business for which has span over 14 years or thereabout? that will make people know that they are dealing with the right person? What is that thing? Well, I, I, I think in, 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 um, in our own case, by the grace of God, we, in the diaspora market, we already a household name. And there are several testimonies of people who have uh, worked with us who can tell you their experiences. So uh, it was when we started that people want to say, what do you bring to the table? But, Today, I mean, the, what God has helped us over the years because people have trusted us and we have delivered. For example, 95% of our clients, my own personal clients, I my staff clients, have never seen me before in their life. Whether oh, they are wow. buying property in Dubai with us or they are buying property in Nigeria with us or they are buying in Dubai because usually they are buying for investment purposes. And I'm talking about people who bought property of a million dollars, of two million dollars. In fact, there was one when I finally met him when he was to collect his key in Dubai. I said, oh, guy, I need to understand what exactly, okay, did you see in me that will make you to have paid a million, in his own case, a million dollars for property and we've never met? What was the case? And, you know, he said, first of all, somebody referred me to him and the person almost swear with his life that this guy is credible and then when he then went online because i happen to have built a, a a great brand i mean uh, i have over a million followers across all my social media platform so when it got online if I, my videos have had over 50 million views and all i do is teaching people how to build wealth right either on investment in one thing or the other right so when he saw some of our content the depth of it it was easy for him to believe. So for us, is uh, we give it to you as it is. Transparency is very key. Uh, secondly, it's also ease of doing business, right? Uh, for those who do business with us in Nigeria, for example, we are the first company to partner with DHL and deliver your document to you anywhere in the world. So you don't have this issue of my cousin collected my land document, went to sell it, and uh, today I've been scammed, right? Your no third party, your document gets to you anywhere in the world. We're also the first company in Nigeria to start 247 operations. 
If you call our office 2 a.m., somebody is speaking. Literally, there are people who work 2 a.m., 3 a.m., we run shift, right? Sundays to Sunday. Right, so if we just, January 1st, we started the seminar at Dubai office as well. Um, you know, so, and even in Dubai, we're the largest uh, uh, African-owned hub. And this year, we're the first African to go into commercial real estate in Dubai. We're starting our 12-story uh, um, uh, building in Dubai as well. So there's a lot we've done over the years that has helped us with our credibility. I will say uh, congratulations uh, for, for that you. as well. But at the same Thank time, talking about uh, wet acquisition, I mean, uh, uh, acquisition and the rest, the, I, I still find it difficult. I think research has confirmed that uh, Africans in diaspora, they still find it difficult to build wealth for themselves. Mm -hmm. Why is mm -hmm. that? Well, I, I, I think the issue is because you know our parents and i'm sure that probably happened to you what they told us was go to school get a degree and get a good job i remember you know my mother was a civil servant uh, my father's business had collapsed before i was born if i saw wc for the first time in my life at the age of 13 it was a miracle me yeah. and my sibling were jumping like <gasps> Because <laughs> what we do is Shopo. <laughs> you know what Shopo well, is? I, I, I can relate with that. <laughs> uh, exactly. So uh, I was born in Meduguri and, and grew up uh, there. So, I, and, I, and poverty was everything. I mean, poor people call us poor. My mom used to go to our neighbor to borrow money to send me to school and my siblings. So I, I really hated poverty. But again, I kept asking, why are we poor? You know, I didn't have a degree. Uh, I joined, she worked in PSN, what we used to call NEPA, right? So I didn't enter NEPA with degree. So it was uh, school sat. You, if you can get a degree, you know, you get a job, uh, blah, 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 blah. Well, I got the degree, uh, you know, eight years instead of five years because of strike. Uh, I wrote 100 CV with a cover letter that said, do not pay me for six months until I prove I can perform. I still didn't get the job. In fact, wow. the third place, the guy said, <laughs> the third place, the guy said, you've done business where you're covered. You said popcorn books. There was nothing I didn't sell. He said, go and continue. So we continue with book SMS. We are starting that with a thousand era. 14 years later, well, we, we thank God for where we are today. We build a multi-billion era corporation uh, in four continents. So for me is that people come in to go travel out with that mindset that the parents have set. Get a good job in California, get a good job in this, right? And you start the $20 an hour, $30 an hour, and nobody ever becomes rich by being an employee. I say it to those who work with me, right? All our over 300 staff, I tell them, in fact, one of them earns over four million every month. But I still say to him, you can't be rich even with this over four million. You have to invest your salary, right? And start having what we call cash flow from the investment that you've done. Yeah. It is that investment that makes you rich. Even becoming CEO does not make you rich. There are plenty of poor CEOs in Lagos, in uh, <laughs> all over the world, right? So it's not even I own my business is the wisdom, okay, to become an investor, right, and begin to invest whatever it is that you're making. That money says is not enough. How do you begin to learn and buy investment first? So it's not that you start investing, learn first, right? Not that, oh, crypto is working. Go and put your money in crypto. Mm -hmm. What is even this crypto, right? Real estate is working. Go and put your money in real estate. Who is your real estate mentor? I always say this, if Nigerians and Africans can have investment mentor and business mentor the way we have spiritual mentors. Who, I mean, who, Nigeria will be the richest country in the world. I like right? that. that. That's, that's <laughs> nicely put. <laughs> nicely put. And, and I, I need to quickly yeah. say this as well. Yeah. I want, I want to say this as well. You know, real yeah. estate business worldwide, everybody yeah. will say this is a new oil. This is a new oil money. This is the business that is booming you know, on per second billing. But I want to particularly mm -hmm. ask this question. Yes. Uh, we've, we've heard of crashes 
in different parts of the world. And in yeah. Nigeria, we haven't had any, we haven't had any such bad news. But mm -hmm. you see anything in the future? Is there is there something somewhere? Because it's more like everybody is going into it now, and you know the way it is. When everybody yeah. goes to a certain direction and in, in line with business, there's yeah. bound to be some sort of confusion. Do you foresee mm -hmm. anything? Well, um, very, very good question. You know, the, uh, the ESCC chairman recently said that that he's worried that in Nigeria, Nigeria is the only place where they don't have um, real estate don't crash. And and I remember when I was watching that, I smiled because what he has not realized is that the housing deficit in Nigeria is uh, said to be 20 million. Some say it's 22 million. Right now, if you also look at the population growth, if our Washington Post released a statement, in, let me say this before the Washington Post do you know that the richest land in the world is in Lagos? You know, are you aware? Wow, please say that. Yes, the, the most expensive the land in the world, are you aware, is in Lagos? Really? Yes, no, I'm, I'm learning now. <laughs> So now Manhattan, of course, is the most expensive, but they don't sell land in Manhattan, they sell floors. So if I want to, the only way I can buy land in Manhattan, I can come to your 30 story building and tell you I'm buying from 31st floor to 70th floor. Is it I demolish your existing building and build a 70th story building? That's how they do in Manhattan. So that will have top, you know, Lagos. But because they don't sell land, they sell floors, Lagos is number one, and that's Banana Island. To buy a, a, an average 1,000 square meter in Lagos, it costs you over $2 million. There's nowhere else you get that. Not even in Dubai. I do business in Dubai and many of these cities, right? So, and the reason is because of the recent Washington Post report. And the report says that Lagos we be the largest city in the world by the year 2100, with a population of between 80 million to 100 million. Wow. My brother, the land wow. size does not increase. Where will mm -hmm. they live? Where, so if you own any piece of real estate in Lagos, you are in crazy money. Your children, children will be kissing your picture. <laughs> Grandpa, that is said is correct. Right, wow. because you literally have laid gold as dust because the demand will keep rising. More people are being born, they need where to live, they need accommodation. So you can't get it wrong. Uh, Goldman, uh, Goldman Sachs report also says in the whole of Africa, the number one place for return on investment in real estate is Lagos, followed by Abuja, then Port Harcourt, and South Africa, number three. Right, so when you look at the reports, and these are not Nigerian companies, so you say they are sentimental. This is Washington Post. This is Goldman Sachs. You know, so the data is showing you that there's no crash coming soon. I even teach people, more people should come. We need to start AY Estate. Hallelujah. <laughs> amen. amen oh. I'll say amen yeah. to that. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Now, now this is this this is very important. I mean, one of the reasons for setting up this uh, conversation, uh, we know there are a lot of young people out there. There are people who are striving to to do business, to get involved in even this real estate business. So my question is, how can the common man uh, become rich in this real estate business with little? without little capital how can they invest mm. very small money and, uh, and 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 gain that inroad in the business to become somebody of relevance wow i love your questions uh, fantastic fantastic um one of the my my story i mean one of the business i had to do after <laughs> submitting on their cv and looking for a job um, one of the business I, I, I was able to do was real estate. I, was, I didn't start as a developer. I started as a broker, as an agent. I was selling for companies and I was earning commission. 
right? And that was the beginning of my own story, right? As they were paying me, I didn't eat with five fingers. I was able to gradually start buying my own. And before you know it, we started our own development. So what we personally did as a company, GTEx Homes, was um, with two years ago, I was really worried about this rate of unemployment in Nigeria, really worried. And I said, you know what? I mean, we all abuse politicians. We all uh, talk and talk and talk and talk. And the question is, what are we really doing? Mm -hmm. right? We all own business. And that's why, please, every, all of you are here, we celebrate AY. That's why is one of those that I admire a lot in terms of the, the comedy industry, is investment, right? I give this to you, right? Thank you. Um, <laughs> Thank people you. like you that have the rights to correct any politician any day because you've done your bit. It's not a story of we're just talking, cho -cho -cho -cho, you know, <laughs> you've done your bit. So I said to, we, uh, to we are, myself, we are small leaders in our sector. <laughs> exactly. Exactly, but it's a, it's a massive one. If you look at how many people get employed in all of the wildlife shows, uh, um, the movies, um, you know, even those you've raised. Uh, I was in your show in London, you know, I think the one before the lockdown, uh, and I saw the crowd. I mean, when we finished to even go home, uh, it was it was huge. So the impact all over the world is amazing. And <clears throat> so for us as a company, say, in the next five years, we must provide 100,000 jobs, right? And we are committing 20% of every property we sell, if it's land, and 10%, 5% uh, if it's, uh, about 10% if it's a uh, house, into this. You'll be glad to know that last year, about 100 people got all expense paid trip to Dubai, Maldives, from GTEx homes. Uh, over 200 million was paid out in salaries, commission, and so on and so forth. Um, in fact, we just gave out two brand new car, brand new, 13.6 million each, to two top people who sold last year, wow. right? And we intend to continue that journey even this year, and it's free for you to join, right? You're able to join our community called GTEx and Associates.com. You join, you register, and you join the WhatsApp group. And you have materials, you have regular trainings. If I in a month, you have more than three trainings. You're able to learn how do you sell real estate? How do you meet someone like AY and convince him to buy a house? Right? And convince him to buy a land. How, how do you, you may be poor, but how do you, somebody can be convinced to buy a product as expensive for you? How do you stay in Nigeria and you're selling property in Dubai? We're excited about the fact that we have people who are selling our properties in Dubai, in, in UK, and they live in Nigeria, they're getting commission, right? So uh, these are uh, our own contribution um, to, to, to the system. If I come from the street, from the gutter, and God bless me this way, is for me to also say, how can I be a part? And you'd be glad to know that we have 8,000 right now, I oh, know over 10,000 were in the group right now. So we're just uh, 90,000 to go to uh, 100,000 targets. So I, I, and we're in the second year. So I'm very sure we'll probably hit it before five years. Uh, and I think somebody, they're asking questions online already. Somebody wants to uh, get a link to join. And I'm just going to ask this question. Do you do any form of uh, consultation, private coaching? And uh, how do we how do we have a feel of that? Yeah, so I have a, a, a coaching program for people who want to start their own real estate company, but that's a, you know a high end thing. I, I I mentor a lot of real estate developers. Uh, I think I've just um, for those of you who are wondering how do you join, you can send me a DM or just go to www.gtexandassociate.com. Um, because I can see a lot of those comments. I think I uh, like GTEx and uh, Associates.com. The Associate has an S. I'm typing it. If you pin it, okay. I'll, you know, okay. GTEx and Associates.com. So that's the link. You can go register. It's free for you to register. Um, and so you can join. Um, um, but to your, yes, to your question, 
I, I do coaching. I mentor a lot of property developers in Nigeria, in Asa Nigeria, uh, happen to be one of my mentees because, like I said, <laughs> there's only traffic at the bottom. At the top, you see, I, I've never seen plane, you know, you know, have hold up. So we need to have more people play in the industry, and particularly those who want to play globally. So I run a coaching program where I mentor people how to start real estate commercially, or even if it's private, but doing it at a, you know, at a higher level, right? So that's a, a program. You can send me a DM. It's not cheap. It's between $10,000 to $20,000. Um, so, um, but um, yes, it's something you can be part of. But I think the one that everybody can easily afford because it's free is the GTEx and Associates.com. Easy for anybody. Your, your, your profile says a whole lot, and we can go on and on to, to, to talk and continue with this discussion. Now, yeah. talking about your profile or looking at your profile, how do you think yeah. one can replicate that uh, which you have done? I mean, you've talked about so many things that confirm results. So in other words, you're result-oriented. So how do we replicate, replicate all that results put together in this business? Uh, yeah, fant fantastic. I, I think first is patience, you know, uh, it's not overnight. Uh, we have a very young, you know, fine boy, no pimples, hallelujah, like A1, uh, <laughs> who is over 50. Many people don't know you're over 50, right? <laughs> but we are putting some years into what we do. So patience is key because uh, we live in a jet age. Everybody just wants to hammer and blow overnight. I tell people, if you jump up, you come down. If you grow up, you stay up, right? So you have to grow up uh, so that you can stay up. You know, a lot of times people ask me, how are you this bold? I say, I'm this bold because, oh, bros, I work hard for where I'm, I am today. No, that's mm -hmm. me money no day here, right? Mm -hmm. uh, uh, Godfather, uh, uh, one, I mean, oftentimes I'm able to boldly speak against politicians because none of them put their money here. Right, so we worked hard and hustled our way to where we are today. And, and as such, uh, uh, we can speak boldly. So it's good to grow up. Secondly, is also to respect mentorship. Um, one, there are two industries that I respect so much, and um, because they have created a pathway here. The, the spiritual industry, pastors and comedians, right? These two people, um, I mean, I, I, I I think two weeks ago, um, um, Macaroni hosted me to have conversations similar to this. Well, yeah, I mean, all of you, I'm a fan of all comedians. I, I literally probably consume, you know, almost two hours comedy every day. I just laugh myself to school. Oh, I'll laugh, but I'll, I, I, can, I, can, I can give you that in, in exchange for a land. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's a joke. <laughs> no, that's a joke. <laughs> no, no, that's a joke. <laughs> that's a funny one. So, <laughs> yeah, but, but one of the things I admire about you guys is how you've created a mentorship pathway. I mean, you, you just finished a reality TV show where one of those guys got a car, got some money, um, you've created that pathway. So unfortunately, we don't have that in business. Right? I was still telling somebody today, uh, I said, if Dagote asked me to pay 200 million era to be mentored in construction, I mean, in, sorry, in industrial industry, right? Being able to start manufacturing stuff in manufacturing, I will pay, right? It's not a good story. And you see, the reason why there's so much success in places like the U.S., um, Donald Trump's last coaching program before he became a, a president was $100,000 per person. And people pay. And nobody saying, bros, 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 Donna, you know, I you know me, I, with all the blessing of God, do it for free. So the fact that they value that, if you make your first $1 million dollars, in US, you write a book about it, how I made my first $1 million. If you now sell the book, you are able to realize $5 million from the book, how I made $5 million, <laughs> you know, from writing out, you know, so people are able to replicate. And, mm -hmm. and people also value training. 
I mean, I've paid for trainings in the US and the UK, $5,000, $10,000. I am sometimes the only black man, black man, whether African, American, or African, anything, the only black man in the room, right? Mm. Uh, so we do not invest in training and mentorship. One of my mentors last year, what I paid in mentorship service is $105,000. He's a billionaire mm. in dollars. Ooh. Right? Oh. And because of that relationship now, the target of our company across all the four continents this year is that we must do a million dollars in sales. Right? And we're, we, we have to begin to put, because I have a mentor who has done it, who is showing me the book, say, do this, take this step, take that step. Right? So for me, is pre place premium on mentorship. The reason we have several successful comedians is the role Alibaba and Co played. The role a while played and you can see all these guys they are not poor in any way in any shape or form all comedians doing very well uh, we can replicate the same thing in the business in, in the in, in, in the business community and i'm championing that uh, i have a conference for example on my birthday 28 i'm bringing cosmos maduka tell us how you know and I'm, i also am not say as well you did from 200 naira According to four to five hundred thousand dollars, which we know is you are more than that, because Charlie is definitely more than five hundred million dollars, right? Yes. How did you do it, right? You know, with standard three education. So I'm champion. I'm bringing. I have a show now, an investment chart in the Rolls Royce, where I'm bringing wealthy people to come and share, right? So we are using the Rolls Royce to attract the youth. But what we are putting inside is deep conversation about the link mm -hmm. gratification about the principles of wealth creation, right? But we must, we can't just all fold our hands and our youth are suffering, right? If one youth even say he wants to contest presidency now, he does not have 100 billion to bankroll himself. A lot, a lot of people say, okay. come and contest. I say, I don't have 100 billion. If you don't have 100 billion, forget being the president of Nigeria. And I'm not talking about because you want to bribe. Money you need to pay for logistics to people who will man each word to make sure they don't steal your boat. Money you will pay for mobilization. This is not that you are bribing anybody, just normal. Our elections are expensive. I don't have that money. I have investors' money. And we have to build houses. We are doing 4,000 units in Nigeria alone this year. So, <laughs> yeah. I believe the gentleman. Talking about uh, investment, what, what uh, part of Nigeria are you investing on presently and that uh, people are also, uh, how is it like how are people taking it? What has been the response? Well, in Nigeria, we, we started, um, um, I mean, we're big in Lagos. We have uh, more than 10 estates in Lagos. We're in Abuja. Um, started, if I just got uh, a an estate uh, in Asaba, right, and send an invitation for dinner. Um, we're also doing Port Harcourt, Enugu this year. Um, we're doing Kano as well. Um, Abeokuta, where I'm from. So we, we, we're expanding. Our goal is to do 4,000 units this year and open another 50 estates. The average of our estates are 100 acres. Uh, but what we do more when it comes to land is called land banking. So the goal is you're buying the land, you are living it for a few years. When the location has, has grown, you, you either sell it or you develop it into rental income and you start making money for yourself. So yeah, um, but we also want to push more internationally because you know the dollar crisis as well. Uh, so we need to be stable, um, you know, liquid wise so that we have enough FX as much as we have uh, enough local currency. We also just moved to our Banana Island office, so we're doing a couple of, uh, we're starting some construction in Banana Island as well. Since that's where the big boys like uh, Dr. A.Y. are, so we need to service their market. <laughs> <laughs> the, the comedic doctor. <laughs> you know, when we read now, like you talk real business, you know, the comedians will take the back seat and learn. So yeah. on this yeah. <laughs> on this live, I've been learning, I've been trying to see, you know, I, I discussed once with uh, another uh, 
very strong personality in the business. And all I kept on asking is, is there any way, because one, I was wanting to know why in this other business, another thing for AY to navigate and find itself in another business. Because these small boys, they are all taking over. Because we can't be here forever. So we need people like you to also mentor us and teach us what to do. So the little that we have saved, we we'll just find a way to invest on this other side for stability and what have you. So yeah. I, have said that I want to I want to really, really say thank you for sharing with us, for making us understand uh, what what it takes to build the business and what and what we can do to find ourselves in the business. So on that note, I think it's a good time to round up because I know there are some questions. If you will look at the live later, there are some questions that are going to be there and maybe somebody from the office can send direct uh, DM most of these people the answers to all these personal uh, yes. So thank you very much, sir. It's nice having you. Thank you, you so much. What, what I would recommend um, for all of you asking questions, send a DM um, to GTEx Homes. Um, it's a verified handle. You see, it has a blue tick. GTEx Homes. It has an S. Uh, I just yeah. been if you can even pin it, just send a DM. Or you can even send to me, my myself and my team. Um, Dr. S. Akintai is my own handle. We will do our best to respond to you. Uh, however, let me also say here, our estates are, are, we are not cheap. So, you know, it's important so that you don't say, you know, uh, our properties are not cheap because uh, our, our, our priority is to deliver quality and not necessarily affordability because affordability is not in our hands. It's in the hands of uh, in terms of government policy, is in the hand in terms of how much does it cost uh, to even buy land and for construction, right? So let me be clear about that. But if you are a lover of quality, you're a lover of company that will deliver, not that, um, um, you know, you deposit um, 500,000, you want ram, you want goats, you want rice, you don't do that. <laughs> so... <laughs> Uh, you know, so I have to say that for the side reporting me to you or the company to you, we are <laughs> almost like upper middle class, a little bit premium going kind of brand. And we've tried that option as well, but we didn't like the headache. And we decided to say, you know, well, let's stay uh, where God has embraced us. Uh, but it's easy, even if you can't afford what you sell, why not sell for us and earn a good uh, income for yourself and with what you make, you can start buying for your services. Thank you very much, Dr. X. Akintayo. Of course, now I know the reason why your business is uh, across four different continents. That is yeah. not easy at all, at all. So you, you've heard yeah. it all. Please make sure you send, I already had it pinned down, please send all your questions and make sure you you follow the ando as well so that you can get first hand knowledge of what they do on a daily basis it's very very important i've been your host with this very original doctor let's do the comedic doctor now i've been your host with this uh, dr s akintayo on my live and we'll do this again, God willing. Thank you very much, and God bless you real good. Thank you for having me. One more thing we forgot. Uh, yeah. the, your movie, your latest movie, uh, um, Christmas in Miami, oh, yeah. We uh, you forgot. So we are doing a, a, um, um, an exclusive couple, uh, couples uh, uh, cinema night. So I yeah. used to, I, I, and I guess probably you've had this experience. After my wife had three kids, you know, I realized that we're growing apart. You know, not, we live in the same house and all of that, but we're just I growing apart. I understand exactly what you're saying. Yeah, so <laughs> we then started a movie night together. Whenever I'm in, in, in Nigeria, we go to watch movie three times a week. And it was then we realized how much we miss the us before having children. So I, 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 my team reached out to you to say, let's watch your movie, but let it be as couple. 
So what we, people can do to qualify is free ticket. You don't need to pay for the tickets. Uh, do a one minute video with your spouse, right? Talking about the value of real estate. Uh, the advantage of real estate, or even a practical experience you've had uh, investing in real estate, right? One minute video, upload it on your Instagram, tag AY, tag Dr. S. Akita, or tag GTEx Homes. Every day we'll pick two lucky winners, right? I'll show you why we also announced some of them. Oh, uh, yes. you have I'm, the I'm definitely, I'm definitely, I'm excited because uh, Christmas in Miami presently is the highest grossing movie in the cinemas right now wow. in the country. So, <laughs> so it's, it's, it's a family movie. So the minute you mention uh, spouses going out to do this, it's very, very important. It's something that is going to uh, further unite the, the home front. Um, put the family together. So as the announcement comes, we'll be sharing on uh, my page and it will be nice to be there physically to see this movie with these lovely families as well. That is the part yes. that I'm going to play. I will be there physically because you are supporting yes. my career. Let me also create a balance <laughs> by letting me my yes. presence. Together, yes. we shall do this. And uh, we have a date in mind. Uh, I don't know, yes. I think maybe my team, when we have that, we'll have find a way to announce it. But people, please, you yes. it all. All you need to do, do a video talking about real estate business in your own understanding. And randomly, the selections will be made. And if you're lucky to win something that will take you and your husband or you and your wife to the city man, so be it. So we're all going to have fun. Thank you very much and God bless you. Again. Have a pleasant night rest, sir. Yeah, thank you. God bless you. Thank you. Yeah. Yes. Oh, that was a good one. Thank you guys for joining us. We'll do this again and again, different uh, aspect apart from real estate business, every other uh, business out there that you want us to talk about it, you know what to do. Just send us that necessary DM and let's do business together. God bless you, Rego. All right, bye-bye, guys.